boy, they sure have a good time at this Northside Atlanta Tavern. Just ask some of the regulars, like the one at the end, Dave, as in David Fuller, state court judge of Gwinnett County. I don't know how I'm gonna go when the ball came a blow. When he's not entertaining the folks at this bar, Fuller presides over this one, the state court bar. He makes more than $136,000 a year to be here, one of the highest paid employees in Gwinnett County government. Often Fuller hears criminal drunk driving cases. As a former assistant solicitor in DeKalb in Gwinnett County, Fuller has even prosecuted DUI offenders. More than anyone, he should know the risks involved with drinking and driving. But does he? Over a 10-week period, the I-team caught Judge Fuller repeatedly leaving the courthouse before lunch and making his way 29 miles to an Atlanta bar called the Beer Mug. It's 2 o'clock on Friday afternoon. The judge is going into the bar once again. But it wasn't only on Fridays. We saw him on Wednesdays, Thursdays, on a Tuesday. In 10 weeks, we saw Fuller or his car at the Beer Mug 15 times during work hours. 14 of those days, we stayed in the parking lot. On the 15th, we decided to go inside. By the time we got in, Judge Fuller already had an empty beer glass in front of him, which the bartender quickly refilled. Later, the judge offered to buy our producer a drink. No, no, that's, that's thanks anyway. I'm, I'm still at work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. Over the course of the next six hours, we saw Judge Fuller regularly toss back beers and shots of liquor. By the end of the afternoon, he was holding court in a place that never seemed to come to order. The judge later told us he only comes here after finishing all of the cases on his calendar for the day. But we often saw him leave the courthouse before lunch after spending only an hour or two on the bench. As of the end of April, he had the highest pending caseload of any of the five state court judges in Gwinnett. Back at the bar, Judge Fuller openly talked about his visits to nude clubs, where he and his friends once joked about the pretend names some of the strippers used. So we said, well, they can have dancing names, we can have drinking names. So I became Dr. Ashford Dunwoody. And then I got real drunk and I devoted myself to Shamley Dunwoody. Then I became drunker, I had a beautiful time on Whatever he calls himself, a judge's behavior, even outside the courtroom, is governed by a strict judicial code of conduct. That's a set of rules all Georgia judges must follow. It says they have to act at all times in a manner that promotes public confidence in the integrity and impartiality of the judiciary. It might be one thing if the folks out here didn't know what Judge Fuller does for a living, but they do know. You know what, there's, there's, a, there's a fireman, a cop, a construction worker, and a judge. In a place where everybody knows his name, they also know his job. He's a judge? He's a judge. Really? The state court judge. Clark Cunningham teaches ethics and law at Georgia State University. Judges have to live by a higher standard, not just in the courtroom, but outside the courtroom. By the time Judge Fuller was ready to go home, nearly seven hours later, the I team had videotaped him drinking 19 beers or shots. No one here tried to stop him from driving, so we did. We know how much you've had to drink today. We can't let you drink and drive. Can you get somebody to take you home who hasn't been drinking? Randy, is somebody going to run against me? Is this a setup? Judge, you know how much you've had to drink today, don't you? I've, I've been here to get shrimp and crab legs for my wife, and this is not fair. Have you been drinking here, Judge? Nope. You haven't had a single drink? Nope. Well, iced tea. Actually, iced tea is what we mostly drank during our six hours of watching. You haven't had any beer? Nope. You haven't had any shots? Nope. You haven't had any tequila? What's wrong with you? Eventually, a beer mug employee saw us and offered to drive the judge home. You're going to drive him home right now? I'll take him home. Okay, we're going to back up no, so you can not. get in the car. No, he's not. Are you insisting on driving, Judge? Get out, get out of my face. Judge, if you try to drive home, I'm going to have to call the police. Fine. And with that, the judge headed toward I-85 and Lawrenceville. His decision flawed, but final.